Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and we've got the last three races left. We can see two right now. One of these presumably unlocks the sixth race from the new update. We did the first three in the last episode, so let's jump on to the last three and see if we can finish all gold. Okay, so 46 seconds to get gold. This looks like a ground-based race on a dirt terrain. So we definitely got to keep that in mind. We got a single free block. This is a very, very interesting thing. We got some mud there as well. This is your mud right before the... Oh, no, that's not a finish line. Never mind. That's just another checkpoint. This is a long race. This is twisty turny on questionable terrain. Okay, let's go ahead and unlock this thing and see what kind of parts we're going to have at our disposal for this. All right, so this is what it recommends. Some downforce, uh, the standard wheel... This is a pretty light vehicle that has no aerodynamics on it. Uh, no, I want to build my own. I guess we'll use the go-kart seat. For engines, oh, we get the dragon engine for the first time. We have six power cores, so that equals up to two dragon engines. All right, well, let's build ourselves some type of off-road based car and see how we do. Okay, I think this is the best we're gonna do on our first try here. So we got some suspension, we got the standard wheels, and we got a spoiler in the back, some aerodynamics in the front. It's okay. It's got a lot of points of contact though with the way that these wheels stick out. Uh, so we're not gonna be the fastest as far as top speed goes, but hopefully we'll be able to handle all right and um, we'll be able to deal with the rough terrain. So let's go ahead and hop in and see how we do. All right, great off the start so far. Uh, I do not have the camera I want right now. Oh boy, uh, where's the orbit? There we go, orbit camera, that's the one I want. All right, let's see how we do here. Uh, so far the handling's pretty good. We do got these muddy sections though. And they don't seem to be hurting us too bad. Oh, here we go again. Ooh, ooh, ooh yep, they, we almost lost a little bit of control on that one. I'm just hoping that I don't explode somewhere. If there's some drop or something, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh. Uh, whoop, that arrow confused me. It pointed towards the wall for a second because I wasn't through the checkpoint yet. All right, here we go. Oh, this is it. We're here. We're here. We're here. Uh oh. <laughs> Imagine if I exploded right there. Okay, first place was no problem. What was it, like 44 seconds was supposed to be first place and we... It wasn't 44 seconds, was it? So we got 45 seconds, which puts us in 261 world rank, but we did get our gold star. So it looks like 46 seconds was gold. So we barely made it. Barely made it to gold for that one. Okay, this is another ground-based one. So far, it is mostly paved road. It looks like the entire thing might be paved road. 51 seconds, I'll try to remember that. 51 seconds for gold, eight power cores, which means we could use two dragon engines and a raw engine, which will give us a decent amount of speed. And if the whole thing is paved, that means we can use some of the racing wheels or something like that. But we have to be really, really, really careful not to go off the track on any of these dirt areas because we will spin out very much. Whoa, is that a jump? What? There's a jump over here too. But that, this jump is a legitimate shortcut. Yeah, this jump, I don't know. I don't know what to think about those jumps. I don't know if they're actually meant for use or not. All right, so we gotta remember 51 seconds. This is the recommended vehicle or the stock vehicle. Oh, this guy's got thrusters. Do I wanna put thrusters instead of some engines on this thing? Because with eight power cores, we could do two dragon engines for our road grip, and then we could do a raw jet engine to get that really good acceleration and boost. You know what? I might actually do that. All right, let's get building and see what we can come up with.
All right, so check this guy out here. I think we've done pretty well on making it relatively compact and uh, putting everything we need in here, especially these two dragon engines and the raw jet engine is going to be really interesting. Uh, we also got the spoiler in the back and uh, more weight in the front, I think. Yeah, this thing's 53 kilograms. This is 25. So yeah, this is slightly heavier than the back. And I use the uh, cockpit seat for extra aerodynamics this time because we're already so heavy with these engines. I figured it wasn't going to make a huge difference. So let's see how it goes. Oh, we got a lot of acceleration. Oh, I actually for I forgot about my jet engine. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, no, that's too much. That is too much. Okay, let's restart. Um, we may have overdone it a little bit with the jet engine. Um, I also, I do not have any suspension. I thought this was a relatively flat course, but apparently not so much. So we're going to have to be... Whoa! Okay, the turning on this thing isn't the greatest at speed, but wow. Okay, we might have some trouble with this course here. I was not anticipating this. All right, this is a great start so far. We need, what, 51 seconds? There's gold. Well, our jet engine really helps with uh, acceleration, especially on the straightaways, but I don't want to go that fast. Look at this. We are so, we are just so out of control with this engine. Like, look, we could just boost. Oh, I can't turn at all. <laughs> all right, now that I understand that the chorus isn't quite so even, I'm going to go ahead and give ourselves some actual uh, suspension. All right, so I've added some straight suspension. I've also added uh, a front spoiler to hopefully help with the steering. And I've increased our steering angle from 30 degrees to 45 degrees. So let's see how this does now. I think the big thing, though, is we also want to kind of be careful, like be a little bit more conservative with our speed and only boost when we know it's a Wow. We don't have a lot of grip on that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say our jet engine is giving us enough acceleration. And we have some decent speed. So for the sake of grip, I'm going to see what it's like to use the standard wheel here. All right, let's see how we do now. See, we still have way more acceleration than those guys have. We're just going to have a lower top speed. But right now, top speed is dangerous. Very dangerous on this course. All right, we are handling much better now. And we can use our jet engine a little bit more. So that's good. Oh, 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 we're bouncing. All right, the suspension is no longer helping us that much. It's like hurting us, making us bouncy. All right, come on. Did I miss that jump? I did miss that jump. I don't know if we want to take the jump though. All right, I think we're still gonna, what was it? 51 seconds or 56 seconds? It was 51 or 56, I don't remember. I'm leaning towards 51 though. All right, there we go, 42 seconds. All we had to do was just not crash. The The standard wheels helped out with that. We did terrible at first though. World rank 70, not as bad as I expected. All right, let's take a quick look at some of the other vehicles around us in the rank 70 range. All right, look at these guys. Oh wow, they definitely have some downforce on there. That one over next to me, the yellow one is really interesting. So yeah, I think we could definitely do a lot better. You know what, let's just do this one more time before we figure out what this last race is. Let's see if we can beat these guys. We're not gonna beat these guys. All right, so what I think this is going to come down to is just driving skill. We can definitely move up to number 60 if we can stay in the front the whole time. And we're doing pretty well so far. Got to make sure to take the turns tight, boost on the straightaways, but then not lose control when it comes to catching air. Like, that's the sketchiest part is when you end up catching air. All right, let's be careful going down this hill. Our wheels are going to lift up a bit. All right, then boost on the straightaways. Try to maintain control. Oh, we almost hit that rock over there. All right, we're doing pretty good so far. Let's just not lose control. Oh, no. No, no, no. Go, 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 go. Uh, whoo. Whoo. We came in first again. We beat all the people that we were against, and we got up to rank 44 from 70. So we just moved up 26 places. So how about that? Let's get over to the map. And we could have gone up a, a few more places too, probably, if we didn't mess up there. Whoa, that's interesting. Look at the... Oh, the the symbol is a car with wings. So I think they almost like encourage you to take these jumps with a car. 
That's kind of cool. Maybe we should revisit that at some point. Let me know if you'd like to see any of these races revisited. All right, so now here we are on to presumably the final race of the new update. 1,200 to enter, the most we've seen so far. All right, cliff land, 54 seconds. Whoa, did I see like some huge jumps? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Whoa, boy. Oh, this one's gonna be tough. This one is gonna be tough. We have to survive. This isn't even just gonna be about finishing before everybody else. This is gonna be about not exploding. All right, so if we see the example vehicle that they give us, um, interesting suspension there, but they have some horizontal stabilizers, presumably to keep yourself a little bit lighter when you are flying through the air so you don't explode on contact with the ground. So let's build our own vehicle, see what we can pull off. All right, let's just get building. I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. We'll see what happens at the end and we're probably gonna have to redesign a few times depending on how the race goes. There goes nothing. Okay, so this thing was way harder to figure out and build than I thought, and I'm not, I am not sure about this. They, they, they're may, it may be confusing at first, but there's reason for some of the seemingly stupid things I've done. First, you may notice the addition of spoilers in the front and the back, as well as wings kind of closer to the front and the back. So what I figure is I'm going to want a little bit of downforce um because i don't want the wings to just be having me float necessarily as i'm going across the ground but when i'm in the air i don't want that downforce to just make me dive bomb i want to have a little bit of gliding power so these wings are basically going to be only for when i'm airborne they're going to make me hopefully not fall as fast as if it was just spoilers and then the spoilers are hopefully going to make it so that these wings aren't going to push me up in the air on the slightest little bump so I'm not too sure if that's how that's going to work, but that's what I'm kind of going for. We had 10 power cores to use, and that was the really difficult part to try to think about how to get the most out of it. So I have one raw jet engine for acceleration and also going through the air. And then I used two uh, dragon engines, which left me with two left. So that meant I could either do another raw jet engine or another raw regular engine. So I went for the raw regular engine because I felt like two jet engines was just overkill on the thrust. This is heavier than this. So that's why I have the wings directly in the back there to counteract that. But then again, there's a lot of weight up in front here. So we might, we're probably going to nosedive. But I figured we'll see how it works first. And then we can adjust our center of mass and all that stuff. All right, let's just give it a try and see what happens, see how it feels. And I also chose to go with the standard wheels just because I feel like there's gonna be some questionable terrain. Hey, look at that, that wasn't too bad. I am worried though for some of the bigger jumps because we are a very heavy vehicle, very heavy. So these suspension pieces are probably going to have, whoa, they're probably gonna have some issues uh, cushioning our fall, but that's actually what the wings are for and they seem, they seem to be doing okay so far. All right, there's gold. Let's get after him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
All right. Get in the air. All right, I'm actually really surprised at how we're able to land so far. All right, come on. Turn, 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 turn. All right, we messed up, though, with having to repair, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to catch up before the end. We're doing pretty good right now, closing the gap. Oh, there's the end there, and we didn't explode. All right, we can do this. We can get first place. All right, this time we just got to not mess up. I feel like we are way heavier than we need to be, and I also feel like we could have used... Oh, boy. We could have used Ow the uh, racing wheels probably to get a little bit better speed on here. Oh boy, that was interesting. All right, let's come on, keep going, keep going. But the racing wheels wouldn't help me out there. Dang, these uh, these landings, I think I bought them out on the landings because of all my weight. I should, I should have increased my suspension stiffness. So what keeps happening is, ow. I'm going to keep going. I don't know how this is going to go for the rest of the race, but we just lost all of our aerodynamics. And yet now I couldn't, I, I couldn't stay on the ground. You know what? I'm going to try racing wheels. And we're going to see if that'll make any difference. I feel like we're going to lose control with the racing wheels, but I also feel like we'll just be able to be faster and stay ahead longer. So let's see how this affects things. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, first jump. Not so bad, except for the fact that we landed in the dirt, so we have zero traction, and there we go. Traction is back. So that is the tough thing with the, um, ow, with the racing wheels, is if we don't stay on track, we just spin out, pretty much. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, come on. Stay on track. Oh, this is too much of a jump. This is way too much. Ow. All right, repair, repair, repair. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh boy, not doing too well. I'm still ahead though, which I'm surprised. They didn't pass me after having to repair. All right, and I think we're actually coming up on the end. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 I have no traction anymore. <laughs> we're right there. Oh, we just ruined it on that curve. I think we got something usable though. We're just really, really heavy. I almost feel like not having the um, raw engine in the back there, which, oh, there it goes. Raw engine's gone now. All right, just got what I asked for, but we also do not have any of the wings in the back, so this is gonna completely change our trajectory. Oh, hey, yeah, that's what we get for not having wings in the back, but we're still going, we're still surviving. Let's see how it feels. All right, here's the big jump. This is where we're gonna flip over on this one, aren't we? All right, I'm trying to pitch down. Ow! This is really, really tough now. I'm not sure. There's all kinds of changes we could make. I don't know what exactly I should do, though. Oh, I should have stiffened my suspension. I totally forgot to stiffen the suspension. Oh, don't overcorrect. Ow. All right, we lost our engine in the back again and our wings. So we're going to have this issue with back flipping again, maybe. All right, I'm going to take this jump a little bit slower. Oh, that was awesome. We maintained our speed throughout all of that. Oh, boy, we're drifting. All right. All right. Be really, really careful down here. I'm just taking it easy because I do not want to spin out. All right. And go. Woo. All right. That was a tough race. That one was a little bit tougher. Our vehicle, I felt like, was just terrible. Rank 103. Not the best. We got 49 seconds. I think somewhere in the 50s was the um, first place gold. All right, so that is interesting. Those last two races kind of encourage cars with wings. So for the most part, we've gone through this entire map just focusing on gold stars, but beyond the gold stars, there are leaderboards with all of the other Trailmakers players. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, rather than just trying to get the gold stars, do you want to see any of these races where I could try to modify the vehicles to get as high as I can on the leaderboard. If that's the case, then which of these races do you think would be the most fun for that kind of thing? We've got car plane races. We've got purely ground-based races that are like higher power cores. We got purely plane races. We got like F1 kind of races. We got go-kart style races with low power cores. So let me know down in the comments what you're looking forward to. If you missed the other Rally Mode episodes, I'm making a playlist of them 
just for rally mode right here. So go ahead and check that out if you missed any of those. I hope I've earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.